Hello, yeah, we've come to, um, to join the Ukrainian army or whatever they're called. They're not even sure of the army's name, but they're utterly convinced of the cause. This is Leon from Surrey. They look like they need help. We're young, strong, fit men, we can help, so why not? Outside Ukraine's embassy in London, a steady stream of men come to find out how they can join up to fight. You can send uh, email, a letter for this address, yeah. and uh, he contacted with you and said what you must do. OK. Brian from Kent used to be in the Territorial Army. And you're prepared to go to Ukraine and fight? Yeah, I can get on a flight tomorrow. And if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? I'm 60, which means I'm just about within the range, age range that I'll accept. We see people from the UK, Poland, Hungary and beyond, the seeds of a volunteer army to fight against the Russians. You're Iranian and you want to join up to fight for Ukraine. Why do you want to do that? Because I hate Putin. I'd like to take, like, a pocket knife, a stove... And... War waits for no-one, and by mid-afternoon, conscious they need to move fast, we catch up again with Leon and his friend Tom, who also plans to travel to Ukraine. Put the armour goes in there, which protects your chest. By now, they've got hold of some old kit, borrowed from a friend who's an ex-Marine. He does want it back, so let's hope we make it back alive so I can give it back to him. But as soon as you get on... To get off the train in Ukraine, your life is on the line. You're not guaranteed to make it back, especially not in one piece. Have you told your family? Our family are upset. It's a, obviously, it's a hard time, but if I'm this scared and this apprehensive, and what, what are the people over there going through? Neither of these men have any military experience. Tom runs a dog care business. Are you afraid? Uh, of course I am. I think I would be silly if I wouldn't be afraid. It's not just volunteer fighters joining Ukraine's war effort. Supporters are gathering donations to send to Ukraine, essentials for civilians and the front line. I'm extremely proud of our nation. So I'm extremely proud that we inspire other people to come and help us out. Um, those guys are awesome. I mean, I, we need all support we can get. In the UK, communities are coming together to help Ukraine in any way they can. Lisa Holland, Sky News.